market with products, target audience, brand image. Then we're going to go into Germany, the market, its attractiveness. We're going to give you a country profile, environment overview, a SWOT analysis, a competitive assessment within Germany, a potential target market assessment. And then we're going to go into the market entry strategy, the marketing mix, and we're going to finish off with a conclusion. All right, just a few facts about Target before we begin. Um, it was founded in 1902, uh, originally as the Dayton Dry Goods Company. Uh, it's now operated as a vertically integrated single business segment with 26 <coughs> distribution centers located throughout the U.S. Uh, you can see underneath our company profile, it says expect more, pay less. That's our basic brand strategy and our motto. Um, we strive to give our cus uh, customers a high quality product and have low margin costs. Um, just a few numbers to show you how strong the company is. Uh, we have $63.37 billion in revenues and almost $3 billion in profits in the year 2008. Um, we had, globally, we have a 5.6% uh, market share, and this is including all companies, Walmart, etc. So we have a pretty strong hold on the world market share, even though we haven't really expanded into the international market yet. Uh, a few notable uh, rankings, we're number 31 in the Fortune 500 for this year, and we're also number 19 in Fortune's 50 most respected companies, and number 11 in uh, Fortune's 50 most admirable companies. The difference, I don't know what that is. But. Um, our products, just a, a brief overview of our product mix. 37% uh, of our company is consumables and commodities, 22% is electronics and uh, entertainment. We have 21%, which is home furnishings, and then 20%, which is apparel and other accessories. Uh, our, our products are basically, we, we have general merchandising, but the things that we like to emphasize are our designer product lines. We have contract relationships with certain designers, one being Liz Lang, and this gives us a little hip, more hip image that our products are higher quality. Liz Lang is a maternity designer. Uh, we also have several wholly owned product lines. Uh, those are just a few examples, Morona and Archer Farms. Uh, our target, target audience, our CEO, Greg Steinhoffel, uh, qu is quoted as saying our uh, that we offer high quality merchandise at low margins because we are interested in cutting expenses. We would much rather do this than trump at dramatic price cuts uh, on cheap merchandise. This is basically our expect more, pay less motto expanded. Um, our target, our target audience is generally the family, but we look for highly educated consumers um, with uh, generally higher um, uh, average household income. And we've actually succeeded in achieving this target market. Our, the average age of our consumer is 41 years old. The average household income is $63,000 a year. Um, it estim it's estimated that around 50% of our customers are, or have graduated from college, and uh, the majority of our customers are women. The 50% customer base graduation rate and also the $63,000 average household income are greater than any of our com uh, competitors in the U.S. So you can see that we're actually achieving what we set out to do. Finally, our brand image. Um, our advertising, like most things with us, is focused on our high product quality with our low margin prices. We really try to emphasize that to our customer our customer base. And uh, we to do this, we rely heavily on our relationships with our designers and our brands. Um, we're, we market ourselves as a trendier version of Walmart. Uh, and just to give you an idea of how strong our brand image is, uh, we have a 97% uh, recogni recognition rate in Americans, and that's very close to Nike and also uh, Coca-Cola and McDonald's. <coughs> so. Uh, when moving into the German market, we want to consider uh, Hasted's cultural dimensions because it's very important in creating an organizational structure that is um, comfortable for the German workers while also looking for similarities that can um, help Target maintain its uh, culture and key competencies. And just looking at, un at uncertainty and avoidance, we can see that they have a need for security and so we would need to provide written rules and a detailed code of conduct um, to provide security for the workers. In terms of the country profile, Germany has a population of around 82 million, which is the second largest in Europe, behind Russia, if that's counted. The average age is almost 44 years old, and as Ryan mentioned, that's exactly what our target market is, which is around 41 to 43 years old. Luckily, also, Germany's ex also very educated, almost 99% literacy rate, one of the highest in the world, and third largest economy. All these statistics make it perfect why target should move in. 
Also, Germany is an extremely mature market. This is evident with its low tariff barriers and foreign direct investment of almost $925 billion last year. The service industry contains 70% of the jobs and 70% of GDP. And the State, the State Department recognizes Germany as one of the strongest industrial powers in the, in the world. Taking a look at the environment overview, uh, Germany provides a very stable political environment, especially with its membership in the European Union. Uh, the country also welcomes foreign direct investment, so it's very welcoming of foreign businesses. And also something to consider is the relationship between East Germany and West Germany. Uh, there have been many conflicts, seeing as they just recently uh, united. And also, uh, East Germany's inadequate infrastructure is important to consider when you're looking where to enter uh, into the country. Uh, the cultural environment, uh, Germans tend to be bargain hunters, but they also value quality. So that's going to be important to consider because it's very in line with what Target offers and what it stands for. Um, when greeting customers in the stores, you have to consider that Germans are formal and independent. Complimenting is probably not going to be necessary and actually unwanted. Um, Germans are also very loyal workers, so that's going to benefit Target with lower turnover rates. In terms of the economy, it's the third largest economy in uh, the world and the largest in Europe. So that's going to provide um, good access to the rest of the market. Uh, to the rest of Europe and eventually Eastern Europe and Asia. Um, there is a rise in disposable income, so people are able to spend more in the retail industry. And um, there are higher wages, but also less hours work. That's something to consider. And um, the company should also consider uh, government intervention. That happened with Walmart when they, they were accused of uh, selling below wholesale prices, and the government uh, made them increase prices of household staples. Also, the legal environment is very stable. There are clear laws which are enforced by courts. And considering transparency, companies tend to go over legal requirements. So Target will have to present complete and accurate company information. We're going to go over our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Um, in terms of strengths, it is the second largest global merchandise retailer. And that's something to consider because it is only located in the U.S., so that shows its strength globally. And also it's going to give it access to resources and shows its strength in bargaining power because of its size. Uh, its strength is also that it offers high-quality products at low prices, something that's very demanded in Germany. Uh, it has a strong brand image in the U.S., which will, could transfer over to uh, Germany. Uh, Walmart did not have that strong global brand image. And also, its target insignia is very appealing and recognizable. It's also a one-stop shop, which is not very common in the German market. So that's going to give it a competitive edge. And also, it views itself as a, as a discount department store, as opposed to just a low-cost uh, 